Okay, we're here at the bowl with the bus yeah. at Jerome for the Jerome Bettis Bus Stops Here Foundation. Yeah, right? Little, did I get it right? You had a little uh, synapse. Well, I did. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, those things, it, I'm, of course, I'm with Chaluch here. That would be Tunchelkin. <laughs> and we are in the back room here at Latitude 40. Right. And so we're starting off the night because we got some bowlers, and Bussy's going to be showing his wares, I, is what I heard. Yeah, you know, I, I saw him with the sport coat, and I'm wondering, how does he bowl with that thing? Now, I heard he's good. And I guess when you're that good, you can kind of wear a suit and, uh, and still bowl. But, see, I, I'm a novice at bowling. And I don't even know if I'm going to bowl tonight. But I'm going to I'm gonna watch him carefully and see if I can pick up some tips on how to be. Because I hear he's a great bowler. Now, honest to goodness, with those crooked fingers of yours, no, do you I think know. you can roll? Can you roll a ball straight? Can I tell you something? Unless I get a ball custom made, I can't even use it. I was putting my fingers in the balls. I couldn't get my fingers in any of the holes. So, I mean, I, don't, I, can, I can go the old way in between my, because like, I can't get a bowl with the uh, holes big enough for my hands. Are you going to embarrass yourself and get bumpers on, your, on the lane that you're on? No, no, I, I'd rather just watch. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll be an official. That's what I do. Yeah, penalty. If, if, if you go over the line, I'm going to jump on you. Would you give, like, a yellow card? You know, because there's guys that could actually, you know, violate the, the, the line or, or whatever. I mean, what do, you, what do you think? Could you be, like, a, a soccer referee? Let me ask you this. First of all, do you even know the rules of bowling? Honestly, I don't, I don't have a clue. I don't. I don't either. So I, I'm. I'm just. You know. Uh, you might be going doing your point of order. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Point of order. The point Craig Wolf. The Craig Wolfley interruption on, uh, on in the locker room. You know. So uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't even know the rules. Now let me ask you about. We had a cruise last week. Just got back. Bahamas. Everything else. Royal Caribbean. Yeah. It was fantabulous. What was your best memories of the cruise? You know, I think having my kids and their spouses, just watching them, uh, you know, whether they're at di when we were at dinner together. Spouses, that would be husband or wife, right? Yeah, well, you know, well, you know, Natalie and her husband, Danny and Tanner, his wife, Jess, you I'm know. Just clarifying for, you know, anybody that might not understand big words like that. Sp spouses, all right. What would you have said? Uh, husband or wife. Husband or wife. All right. Well, you know, my kids. I was, my kids were there. I was happy. We were having a good time. And, uh, and you know what's really cool is um, the fans. The, you know, Steeler fans, there's none like them anywhere on this earth. And, uh, and just, you know, the, the cool thing about when you're a Steeler and you live in this community, you're part of the fabric of Pittsburgh. And so to be part of a cruise with 2,000 Steeler fans, that was pretty crazy. It was awesome. Thank you for your time, brother. Yeah, and by the way, you can catch Craig Wolfley on no, CraigWolfley.com. No, no. All Craig, all the time. You schmuck. All right, we are at Bowl with the Bus at Latitude 40, and I got Chris Hoke here back. And Hokey, we just stepped off a cruise, and you are looking lean. You didn't obviously put on the weight gain like I did. No, it is. I'm burning calories because I'm still wobbling like this because of the cruise ship. I'm still trying to get my balance. That's what it is. It was amazing, was it not, that cruise? It was an absolutely great week. I love being around Steeler Nation. I love being around you the whole week. What a great time. Hokey, what would your family think? Because my kids were just ape over the whole thing. I mean, the whole thing from the Windjammer Lounge to the specialty restaurants yeah. to all the things that you could do in Nassau. It's funny you said Windjammer first because the Windjammer buffet was oh. the highlight of the whole trip. <laughs> and I know your boys were in there all the time. My kids were always in there hanging out, getting food, running out, running back in, getting ice cream. It was a great week. What did you do when you hit Nassau? Because I, th I love the part when you come off and you see all these great yeah. ships, these, these cruise ships docked there and everything. Then you go into downtown Nassau. Can't stay there real long, but oh. it's fun to go and just be a part of that, feel that Caribbean thing going on. Yeah, it's fun to get off the ship and feel that warm weather, be around the Caribbean people. Um, you know, my kids saw the Disney Magic ship. You know, yes. the they were like, we need to be on that ship. That's the ship they wanted to be on. So uh, we're hanging out on this ship for a while. But it was a great time going to Nassau, being on that. It's too bad we couldn't go to Coco Cay because of the weather. But it's a great week. You know, was, I think the most fun was meeting all the Pittsburgh fans. They were absolutely just out of their minds. They were just such cool people. And we had a great time, did we not? It was an intense five days, Wolf. You know, it was your RPMs were in the red the whole week. Steeler Nation was at their finest. They were dancing. I saw a guy wearing football pants and a jersey jumping in the pool. Yeah. Man, it was crazy, guys dancing around. It was just a fun week, and I think all I've heard is positive things about that from Steeler Nation. Now, what are you going to do tonight? You're going to bowl with the bus? I mean, actually get out there with Bussy and roll that rock down the lanes? I'm going to roll it down the lanes, and I'm going to get so many turkeys that nobody's going to hang with me. Are you, you going to get some bumpers on the lane? 
bumpers are the trick. That's the key, <laughs> using the bumpers. Well, see, the thing about it is your hands, for, for all the years that you played, they're relatively straight. I looked at yeah. Tunch. I said, you couldn't roll the ball straight if you had two hands on the ball. <laughs> Tunch's ball might go in the other lane. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, I mean, bowling is just, it's a good time. I, I'm terrible at it. I get my 100 every time. That's not terrible, I guess, but I get around there. It's no, it's, it's terrible. Is that terrible? What do you get? What do you I, get? Less than that, so I'm even more terrible. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. I like bowling. Did you check out the uh, food menu here? I mean, I'm a little coconut tree. Right, that's where I'm heading right now. Okay. You, you pulled me. You grabbed me aside. All right. Then you know what? I'm releasing you, brother. Go. Run with it. I'm about ready to eat this microphone right here. <laughs> <laughs> that's Chris Oak. Thank you, brother. Beautiful. And I have an old teammate of mine from Syracuse and with the Pittsburgh Steelers, Craig Bingham, linebacker Craig Bingham. Bing, the you're... The has Bingham. No. <laughs> We're all has here. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. What's, what, what is it? Uh, working on your life's work? That's it. Yeah. That's, I don't know what it is yet. I haven't found it. I'm still working on it. Now, let me, t let me ask this, because you just went over to London, yeah. and your daughter, of course, is a pretty well-renowned renowned, uh, actress, whatever well, you call it. Now I'm known, instead of Craig Bingham, the former Steeler, it's now, hey, you're Margot B's dad. <laughs> yes, Margot B. Margot B. Is, so I have no problems with that at all. I'm also Corey's dad, which is my son, so it's, you know, got to talk about that. Don't have any sibling rivalries there. No, you can't have that. You're going to have a, too, yeah. much, too much angst in the family home. Yes. Okay, so you went over to London this past yes. week. What were you doing over in London? Hanging out with my, it was a business trip for the missus. And so we were there, and it was just great. But also my daughter was working, doing some HBO stuff. And she, she came back, and I said, so how was it? She goes, Dad, it was really good. I said, well, what did you do? I don't really remember. We were just doing a lot of things. I know that I talked to people in Rio. I talked to people in Spain. I talked to people in the Netherlands. We were, we were on Face. I said, what? You know, I mean, Wolf, when you and I were back in school and they talked about a computer system, remember we had those cards you had to go and, and that's way back when. Anyway. We didn't have computers, if I remember. <laughs> you might have had. You're younger than me. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, by what? What are you... <laughs> There's something. There's a little time gap, but something happened yeah, there. Something there, just a little bit. So, it, but I guess they had, you know, video time or something like that. So she was talking. So now she's talking about the possibility of wanting to go do a trip to Rio. Come to Rio. Well, you're a Caribbean guy, right? Yes, I was. So how was the cruise? It was very, very ex muy excellente. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sometimes. We're we're down in Nassau. I'm like, well, Bing should be here, but he's over in, in London, which is half of my peopleage, because that's where I, you know, I'm German English. Ah, I was with the Queens folks, hey. And and the thing sure is Bob's your uncle. That's what you always say. Yeah, Bob's your uncle. But the other thing that they said, and, and on the flight going over, you didn't hear, you're welcome. Or thank you. It was cheers, and I went cheers. What? <laughs> cheers? <laughs> I'd go sitcom. <laughs> I'd hand something. He goes, oh cheers. Okay, cheers, cheers. So he, he kept hearing it. Cheers, cheers. So now I come back, and and a couple instances where people did something, I I almost said cheers. I'm like oh gosh, this is, is that that's only a few days, you know. But I tell you what, London's a. When you go, make sure you have some money. Oh yeah. Because the tran. Uh, Golly, what was it? I think it's 55 cents of a dollar. So to a pound. Oh my gosh. So you, you go over with a few dollars, you go, oh, I'm good to go. That's math I can't even begin to understand. <laughs> now let me ask you this. Yes. Let, me, let, let me ask you this, okay? You're here with the bowl with the bus for yes. the Jerome Bettis Foundation, okay? Yes. Now are you actually going to bowl because you're wearing like a suit that, I, I, that is worth more than what I make in a year, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I was at some meetings today. I'm going to do whatever I can. Okay, well, you need those bumpers that they put, you know, for the kids. Hey, you know, I bowl more like Fred Flintstone. Not, not you know, the twinkle stuff where you run down on your toes and stuff. I toss the ball, and it will go boom, 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 and it may hit one pin. If you get a strike, will you give up a, a yabba-dabba-doo? Yabba-dabba-doo! That's Greg Bingham. <laughs> Nobody can do it better. Oh, the boots. And the boots. Hey. Nice boots. You know what? There's a story behind this whole thing with the boots. When we were in Syracuse. Right. And, in fact, you're older than me. That's right. So you were gone one year. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I was already gone. <laughs> so there was a preseason game. Bum Phillips came in. And I remember we were in the meeting. And Bum comes walking down the aisle. And he had on a pair of ostrich skin oh yeah and i went wow those are nice those are and then the next day he comes in and he has on another he had on the oiler blue 
And I thought, man, those are sharp. When I can start making some money, I'm going to get me a pair of boots. So I come into Pittsburgh. I'm fortunate to land with my buddy, Craig Wolfley in Pittsburgh. And Terry Bradshaw was a spokesperson for Tony Lama Boots. And I found out and I said, TB, any chance of getting some boots? Yeah, no problem. Those are boots from your rookie year? Well, no, these are these, but that's. Oh, I was going to say, because that, that's well preserved. Well, I still try. You try to do that, though. But anyway, that's how I got into boots. Bump Phillips, then Bradshaw, and then it's continued. And people go, what the heck are you doing wearing boots? You're from the north. It's just this thing of the John Wayne movie, I'll tell you that. Craig Bingham, nobody does it better. Thanks, guys.